And this morning, law enforcement from eight counties here in central Indiana are working together to keep guns off the street. We talked to officers in the front line of the Indiana Crime Guns Task Force who say that it is working. Our Samantha Johnson is live downtown this morning. Sam, we saw that task force at worst just this week. That's right. So officers went to serve a federal warrant for mail fraud here in Indianapolis. When they got to that home, they found more than a dozen guns and a large, large amount of drugs inside that home. We talked to Officer William Young with INPD after that arrest, and he told us this crime, this crime guns task force was actually just one of the agencies who was investigating that man involved. The task force is a collaboration between Central Indiana and federal law enforcement agencies. It addresses violent crime by locating suspects and collecting evidence related to illegal possession of firearms. Now, the eight counties involved in this task force work together when it comes to processing, collecting, and analyzing gun evidence. Officer Young says that means better tracking of crime guns and shooting suspects who may travel out of one county and into another. This summer will mark two years since that task force was founded. And just in its first year, the group seized more than 360 guns and made nearly 400 arrests. Now, as for the man arrested here in Indianapolis in this most recent case, 25 year old James Watt. Right now he is facing 14 criminal charges. He is due in court for an initial hearing coming up tomorrow afternoon. We're live in Indianapolis this morning. Samantha Johnson, 13 News.